Okay, just a short video on how I convert these 164 scale RMZ trucks. They come from eBay or AliExpress. They're just all plastic. They've got plastic wheels, no rubber wheels. But the quality of the look and the finish is very good for the money. They're around eight or nine dollars each. This is one I've converted to drive. I'll just turn it on. So what I've done underneath is I've put in a, this motor is a 716, that means it's 7 millimeters diameter by 116 millimeters long. It's like a 3.7 volt motor. The gears here are, I'll just start on the motor, the motor has a worm gear, then it goes to a 28 tooth gear, then it goes I'll just show you. Down in here is a 7 tooth gear fixed to the 28 tooth. Then it goes to another 28 tooth there. So it's geared down quite a lot so it gives you a good slow scale speed. Now I'll just turn that off. These parts here are for the charger socket. I'm using this I'll put links in the description box or pin to the top comment section of all the feel that focus of all the components, the little switch and the damn it. There you are. Now inside, I'll just open this up. Inside I've got the battery and I've got these components here. It goes from the battery to a booster circuit which will send anything from about three and a half volts up to five volts and those five volts go out into this this is a speed controller and that's got a tiny screw to adjust the output voltage on this side to go to your motor these speed controllers will go down to anything down to almost just a little under one volt generally speaking you only need from 0.8 volts to 1.5 volts for the speed. So you don't need a LiPo. You could do with just a NICAD battery at 1.2 volts would work or even a dry cell 1.5 volt battery. But I prefer it because you can adjust the speed with this little screw. All right. Now these, I'll just move the camera. just show how I converted them if you look that's an original chassis and here's a chassis I've converted so the motor mechanism really just fits inside the plastic casing it's only 10 millimeters wide the steering is very similar to everything else I've done on all my other cars and trucks so it's just a matter of cutting out the plastic where you need to, cut out the plastic here and then epoxy in the brass mount for this motor and gear assembly is all in one unit. On the back, this rear wheels, you want them free floating if they're not driving so they can go up and down sideways. So that's just a folded piece of brass with the one mil axle, one mil axle, the one millimeter idler axle inside these gears. Very simple. So I've only made that attachment, the gear drive assembly and the steering and attached that to the original model. <clears throat> I'll open it up to show you the original RMZ chassis. <clears throat> Now 
These are die cast, a little bit heavy, but it still drives fine. This, with that battery, with that 300 milliamp battery, that will run for about five hours with a 716 motor. They will run on a 612 motor. I'll leave all this description and information as I normally do in the box. <coughs> So basically I just epoxy the motor in here with the drive wheel assembly. I'll try and zoom in so you can see, I'll turn it on. If you want it radio controlled you can buy these speed controllers which plug into a receiver or solder onto a receiver whatever micro receiver you want these little speed controllers are only about a dollar each and they do reverse and they go very slow about the same speed they go right down to a very slow speed Here is another little conversion I've done with the 612 motor and I'll link in the description box the gears here. I think that's a 13 tooth. It's got a worm drive. I'll plug this in. There's a battery. So there it is, very tiny little setup, very small. It goes, you can have it very slow as well. It's geared down about the same speed, but it's in a very compact design. I'll try and focus that in a bit better. Just folded brass again with the holes drilled. These two gears are all on one shaft fixed together. It goes worm drive, 13 tooth worm drive and another up to you 10, 12, 13 drive um, gear inside under there. Very hard to see, it's so small. Now I'll just turn that off. And I'll show you. Very hard to focus with all these tiny components. But that gives you an idea how small it is compared to a servo. It, it will fit in a uh, 164 size car very easily. It's a 90 degree, 90 degree drive. Very unusual. It goes this way, this way and this way. Okay.